Before you can start building on your mannequin, like this one, we have to put it together first. So let's do that over here. Let's start with the leg. We'll slow with the right one. Take it and take the screw out of the base and put it to the side. Now let's take the base. You'll put your thumb in the right back hole and then flip it over. With that hole, you'll match it up with the round peg on the foot with the toes facing away from you, like this. Now hold the foot and the base in one hand and take the screw and put it into the bottom as far as you can. Now take your Allen wrench and place it in the screw and turn it until it is tight, like so. Now put the base back on the work surface again and pick up the left leg and remove the screw. Place the screw on the work surface and take the peg and putting it into the hole next to the other one. Now you'll see there's a pin here on the pelvis. Connect the pin so the pelvis is stable. Then flip the entire base over, again hand with the foot and the base together and screw in the second screw. And then use the Allen wrench to tighten it the rest of the way. Be careful not to over tighten the screw just until it stops. Now flip the base and put it back on the top of your workstation. Pick up the axial section and take the screws out of the sacrum on each side. Now from the front Take the sacrum and put it in between the pelvis so that it lines up with the screw holes. And starting with the right side or the left side, whichever you wish, put the screws into the pelvis and the sacrum loosely. We're going to start with the left side in the Allen wrench. Insert the Allen wrench in and you'll notice it gets stuck. So it's okay if you want to use the other side. Again, tighten it so that the front top part, the axial section, does not move inside the pelvis, but don't over tighten. And again, coming over to the right side, go ahead with your Allen wrench, tighten the screw down so that the axial portion does not move in the pelvis, but don't over tighten. Now to put the arms on, first you'll have to remove only the bottom screw and put that on your workstation top. Now take the right arm and only put the bottom hole of the shoulder blade into the screw hole area and attach it with the screw. Take your Allen wrench and tighten that into the hole. Now take out the top screw, flip the shoulder blade up so that it lines up, and put the screw back in all the way through the standoff and into the mannequin. And holding that in place, use your Allen wrench to tighten that down. Now let's do the left arm. Again, take out the bottom screw and put it on your workstation top and pick up the left arm. Place the bottom hole of the scapula against the bottom hole of the standoff and replace the screw. Now you're going to take the top screw out of the standoff on the model and rotate the scapula up so that the whole of the scapula aligns itself with the standoff and the model. Next, you'll need your Allen wrench to tighten it down. Now my model was new out of the package and so the standoffs were already tightened down by screws onto it. However, if you have taken yours apart and your standoff pieces have come separate, the way that you know which side and which way is up 
is to look on the back. Very small on the back, you will see an R for right side, an L for left side, and an open arrow pointing up. Finally, take the rubber band off of the skeleton. It's easier if you start from the bottom and work your way top. And there you have it, folks. Your mannequin is ready for you to start building.